Oh my god, okay, so I'm recording this on my phone right now real quick because I just got off a call with people that I can't specify right now for something I can't actually say right now, but it will be obviously known by the title of this video and whatever content I share, whatever I can legally share and whatnot. Oh, I'm so excited for what's to come. Just had a call with them. Lovely people. Um, I'll just call the person I talked to B for now. Um, but they were a great person. Um, nice to talk to you. And also C who was also there as well. Um, and I oh, was just so excited for what's to come. I just can't. <sighs> so lucky to have been chosen. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my family's heart. Um, didn't think it would happen, just went for it a little last minute as well. Uh, but I guess here we are, if this video actually goes into the video, if the video actually goes up at all, but yeah. It's a great opportunity and thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, so it's happening today. Um, <laughs> oh, very excited, I just got the questions. I just saw the questions, got them last night because the people were talking to uh, in a different um, continent uh and yeah <coughs> so excited can't wait till this happens um we're already um yeah i really don't know what else to say but this is gonna be really cool i don't know what i'm going to be able to share but we will see um leah looking a little nice but still trying to keep it as normal as possible as i would look and yeah at the start trying to make that my thing my color anyway uh yeah <laughs> It's going really well, very loving it really so far. The people we got as the photographers are really great. Um, yeah, just very excited by how it's all going. Um, and yeah, I don't really know much else what I can say, what I should say, but it's going well so far. Got the interview done, some photos, and we're gonna get some more later. Lunchtime. We go on to the next part of this video. I just want to give a special thank you to Ying and Ling Ang, who are the photographer and videographer of the day that they spent with us. It was so good working with them. They were such lovely people and we shared so much in common. And just being able to share Star Wars with someone else was just so lovely. So make sure you check them out on their social media accounts which I will have on the screen or down below in the description because they did such a good job taking our photos and videos and it was a pleasure having them with us. And now, so you've gone through seeing some of my early reactions to before and when we were filming it, but now it's all out, everything is out, I can actually share what's going on. So what happened was I applied for this um, Star Wars family's collaboration with uh, the British General Photography, the BJP, and um, I did this online and I didn't think I was going to get it at first to be honest, at all really, I never thought I was going to get it because there are 10 families from around the world, one from several different countries, so one from Australia, that would be selected and they would be photographed, videoed and interviewed on how Star Wars and their family tie together so well. So what I had to do was write up this submission. So you had to talk about how Star Wars was related to your family and everything. So I wrote that all down, put in some information, all that kind of jazz. You had to also submit uh, five photos of your family. So I put a few from Comic Con and whatnot and also just some of our family hanging around. Also doing some interfaith work and... <coughs> Sorry. And so what's happened is I submit that a while later so that was in November or October or so. Okay. So I just got back from work, so that's why I'm like coughing a lot and whatnot, but basically a while later they contacted me, found out we actually um, were selected as a Australian family and everything, which is so insane when you think about it. Out of every family, we were the one chosen. Um, and I, as much as like, I just thank that for um, everything that's happened in my life regarding Star Wars, because yeah, there are going to be people, be people out there who say it's because of how I look and everything like that. But in the end, you know, you look past that. I'm a really big Star Wars fan. My family loves Star Wars a great deal. You look at my room and I've got Star Wars things everywhere. Yeah, there's a mix of other things as well. 
but there's a lot of Star Wars. And so what happened was after that I did a few calls and one of emails and everything so the photographers came down as you've all seen um, and all together our photos are on the Star Wars Instagram, the Star Wars website, the British Journal Photography website as well as our own separate web website for that and there's also the interview which is on the British Journal Photography website and it's insane because with that as well some of the footage from our interview is also in this YouTube video on the Star Wars YouTube channel so it's so insane seeing us tied so well with Star Wars our faces on the YouTube the Star Wars Instagram page our family's faces as a Sikh as a minority it's so big seeing my face there because people always tell me people always accuse me I've, I've done placements at schools this year so I'm 20 years old right now and for as long as I can remember I grew up just before 9-11 happened 999 and um, then that all happens you know you experience racism looking the way I do and then you experience troubles in schools and whatnot and you think in this day, is a, this day and age a lot of people are really sensitive a lot of people are very aware but then in school still this day people still call me Muslim heck and I have a lot of racist remarks made about me and everything and I was there being a teacher, a student teacher and everything so it's still out there, it still exists as much as the world has changed and it has improved it's still out there so my face being there, my dad's face being there, my sister's, my mom's face being there, us wearing turbans having beards, being of brown complexion, all these things that um, are stereotypically associated with such negative thoughts in aspects of what people associate with me They'll now see that and be like, this is an Australian born Sikh, this guy isn't a terrorist, he's not an Indian. And while there are like, you know, people that look like me, Sikhs and everything that are from India, that are from Pakistan, that are from America and whatnot, I've never been, I've rarely been recognized as an Australian. Heck, um, on Facebook a few weeks ago, I uh, submitted a film I worked on to the um, this group I am a part of. and. Out of all the comments down below of the people entering their films, for some reason, the one guy who runs the thing decides to comment on mine saying, um, is this film made by Australian or was it made in Australia? So it was made in Australia and it was made by an Australian me, but no one else received a comment like that on their submission. So, you know, it just raises the question, which is obviously answered by the fact, why did he ask me that? Pretty simple, to be honest. But with all this done and said, Star Wars it has a huge impact on my life. I cry watching the Return of the Jedi ending before the sequel trilogy. Um, I get emotional watching Ahsoka leave. I've cried so often. I've shared my Star Wars journey on YouTube itself. I've shared my Star Wars love with everyone I know. I've never shied away from loving Star Wars. I, I'm gonna be honest, as like as much as I've like had problems with the sequel trilogy, I still enjoy it as a Star Wars trilogy, a Star Wars movie, because I, in the end, love Star Wars. And I went into the cinema to watch Terminator Genesis, and I cried watching the Rise of Skywalker trailer. I, I just love Star Wars, and I'm so happy to have had this opportunity. All the other families as well. Uh, the I commented on the actual video on YouTube, and the uh, Robin. Robin Berg, sorry if I mispronounced your name, she's the South African mum in the uh, video as well, one of the families and you know she commented as well enjoying uh, enjoying reading our story and as much as I enjoyed reading her story and all the other families, the ones from Japan, America, England, India, every other country that was there, my family we all sat down, we read the interviews, we looked at the photos and it's so beautiful because it's just a reminder of how great Star Wars is, how much it means to people and it's just a reminder that, you know, there are other Star Wars fans out there. There's just, you know, you always know there are other Star Wars fans out there. I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt right now and everything. But it's so good to see that and read about that. So I'm sure I've overlaid the pictures that we've had on the Star Wars website, on the Star Wars Instagram, the Star Wars YouTube channel, everything there. Make sure you go check them out. I'll leave links in the description down below. Um, you can probably tell by the thumbnail what some of them are and what I've already shown. But otherwise, make sure you also check out the other family stories because this is great. The Star Wars saga comes to an end with episode 9, but the journey lives forever. And that's so true because I will pass it on to my children as my father has passed on to me.